Um, <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> so a lot of things are changing in the world at the moment. <clears throat> And uh, one of them is that, um, and as a, a, a superhero fan, that um, Superman's now got a boyfriend. So well, it's, they're going to make it his son. So, what, Superboy? Well, Superboy's not really Superman's son. Oh. They're super, but now, this is meant to be Superman and Lois have had a kid. Oh, so sorry. pretty much he looks just like Superman, but okay. he's a boy who's going to be bisexual and that. They made Robin bisexual not long ago. So it's like, already, always but the thing was, was though, they're saying it's a new character. It's not really a new character because Lois and Superman have had a kid in the comics before. And plus, there's a TV show called Superman and Lois. Have you watched it? No. It's pretty good. And then they've got two sons on that show, and one of them has superpowers, and that, but he's got a girlfriend, and that. So really, you're trying to turn him bisexual. But it's like, why can't we just. Because people see Superman, wherever it's Superman or his son. Look, I don't care. I don't know, probably bisexual or gay people, but why not just make a whole new character? But the thing is, too, what I hate is they're doing it in comic books. They're doing it on Sesame Street with gay characters and this and that. They got the. I watched the latest um, Cinderella. Did you watch it? No. With the fairy godmothers now, like a gay, transsexual black dressed in a dress he's black and he's very ah! and that and my friend Adam whose daughter's free she loves to show and I said what do you think of the fairy godmother the man who's black and that dressed in woman's and he said she doesn't get it and I said that's right kids don't get it <laughs> kids just watch a show to be a show so putting all this shit in the killed children's shows I watched another show the other day on Netflix called there's someone in the house or something a horror movie but this guy's going around murdering people. Pretty brutal. But there's scenes in it where this guy died and the girl stands up at the eating area like in a college and goes, oh, he was this, he was that. And also, what else is brave is my dear friend over here, she doesn't really like it, but she, well, it doesn't say my dear friend, that's just say she, who came out as non-binary. So to you we say to, he, they, them, for whatever the pronouns are. She went and listed them off. So it's like, Nearly every movie I've watched lately, the newest ones, have all got something transgender, non-binary, lesbian. There was a movie, I said, this one sounds good, and I read such and such, married women, and then they realised they're in love with each other, and I'm like, oh, here we go. It's like, look, I don't care if it's in movies, but they're pushing it too hard now. Yeah. Well, I guess to be nominated for an Academy Award, you've got to have so yeah. much gay, transsexual, and all this shit in it, but it's like, in adults' movies, that's fine. I was watching Batgirl, and Batgirl was gay. Like, how did that girl become gay now on TV with Ruby Rose mm. she's gay in that and there's so many things where it is now it's like I couldn't care less but to me that I just shit because you're doing it to appease people and the thing is too with superheroes we don't really care about their sex life you know Iron Man we maybe saw him kiss his secretary yeah. what's her name once or twice but it's not like we see Spider-Man or he kissed that girl when he's upside down but really they're superheroes. There's not many sex scenes. We don't care what they are. So what I mean by that is you don't need to say whether they're straight or gay. Just assume he's gay if you want. If you want to think in your mind Superman's gay, think he's gay. We don't really need to know because they're superheroes. Yeah, yeah. Here's another thing, people. They can't really fucking fly and bounce bullets off their chest. <laughs> and that, that's, that's not real, okay? So get over this whole thing about I wish it was real and we need representation. No, you don't. Watch a movie to escape. You want to escape life's politics, gender bullshit, racial bullshit, whatever. You watch a movie for what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, that's... We don't need so many women in a movie to do this or do that. Or you can't watch a movie and go, I'm not represented in this. It's like when I was young, I loved Bruce Lee. I loved Kung Fu. And all those movies I watched were Chinese or Japanese. I loved the samurai movies like Shogun Assassin and that. I didn't go, Mom, Mom, come here. I can't identify with this movie because there's no young white Australian boys in it or any white person do you want coffee? oh yes please yeah. skinny cat yeah no um yeah so it's like this whole thing you need to identify with someone in the movie you don't and with kids where they're doing it that are cartoons and that this is what they're doing my dad being gay and he's got lots of gay friends I've met all their kids and they would tell me none of them are gay but yet my dad's friends when I speak to some of them they said roughly, I think the youngest one was 9 or 10. And the others were around 12 or 13 when they realised 
they had more of a liking towards the same sex. Yeah. So well, when you're younger and that, they're like, no, I didn't even think about it. I just played yeah. with, did whatever. And that's the thing. Young kids don't see that. It's like young kids don't see race. If you're pushing it on them, they'll be like, oh, okay, I can't yeah. like black people or, okay, I have to like this type of person or whatever. So it's like kids just watch TV for the funniness, the entertainment. They're not taking anything in, but yet we have these stupid fucking adults who say don't give your child a sex let your kid choose its sex and all this bullshit it's like you're putting an adult's head on a kid who's like three or four you've got your 40 years of fucking bullshit wisdom it's not even wisdom if you're thinking this bullshit and you're trying to put it into a kid that's free who's just enjoying life being a fucking kid let kids be kids stop putting shit on them they'll learn bisexual transgender all this new shit as they get older and go through school and stuff they're not going to suddenly see it in the movie and go oh there's a thing on I watched the other day this young three-year-old tried to cut his penis off and his mother's like oh I should get him on hormone oh, therapy no. but this is what it is the kid doesn't have a male figure in his life it's just the mother and he's got two sisters so the mother said oh yeah we have him play with the sisters and the dolls and that so so he doesn't really have any male toys he doesn't see any trucks or anything so because he's got sisters he plays with their toys he dresses up in their dresses so he got a kid that's free, he's got a mum and sister, so I'm sure he showers with them, sees them naked, so, you know, being that age, you'd probably be like, what's this little thing i got hanging here? They don't have it, they have like a little slit. So he's thinking, because like, they don't have one, he wanted to cut his off, and his mother caught him just in time, but she's thinking, oh, I think my tr son's transgender because he wanted to cut it off. So she's thinking about giving him hormone therapy. He's just copying what he fucking sees. You know, kids at three and four, they're so impressionable. Whatever you show them or do them or this and that, they fucking learn and want to copy. So he's seeing that he's got a mother and two sisters that have no little hangy thing. So he thinks, I want to be like them. But now his mother thinks, I think he's transgender because he tried to cut it off and that. So maybe I should get him on hormones. It's like, how about you just let him be a boy? He'll probably grow through that stage. As he gets older, he'll be like, thank God I didn't cut it off. I love fucking women or whatever. But if he is transgender when he's in his teenage years and shit, then look into it for fuck's sake. I think it's horrendous. Like, oh. I just think, um, like, I'm really worried about my kids as far as, um, you know, they're 11, the girls are 11, 13. Are they girls? Oh, you're pushing that on them. Have they chosen? <laughs> yeah, no, no. But it's just like, um, and, and their friends, I guess, is, you know, there's this, um, there's this thing it's just like a, it's like a seed that's been sown that oh, I could be this I could be that mm -hmm. and, yeah, and and some too like you're watching the old days it used to be not trendy but people would experiment I think sometimes from all girls I've spoken to girls might experiment more with kissing their girlfriend having that little bit of a lesbian feel compared to guys we'll be like oh, that's a bit gay whatever but no, I'm sure no, some guys no, do we're, we're, no, well, we've, we've been experimenting for about 30 years here. <laughs> Still haven't decided. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm straight. I just experiment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that week my wife's on the period, well, you got, you got to get it from somewhere. <laughs> and the thing is, it's like you just let them be there. Because I remember when I was young, if, if I was young and these people were around, I probably could have been a transgender because my dad used to clean churches and that, and the Salvation Army has their, you know, where people donate yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Majority of stuff excuse me, was girls' clothing, so my sister would go in there and dress up in these dresses and shit, like, that's fun, so I'd put on the ladies' dresses too and the big fucking hats. Yeah. Like that, and I'd have them fun just because the main clothes, yeah, I'd put on sometimes, they'd have like men's suits and yeah. then I'd put them on, but generally it was a dress, and then while I had the dress on, my sister's like, oh, look, here's some lipstick, and she put lipstick yeah. on me. So I was like, today if I did that, I'd be like, oh, I think my son's transgender, look at him, he's got a dress yeah, on and put lipstick like on. It's it, like, uh... like, kids are just fooling around, it's like, Kids will play with, like I said, kids, boys, sometimes I have to play with my sister's dolls sometimes in the trucks or put her dolls in my truck. So rather than, I know some toy shops now are going like gender neutral yeah, with the uh, toys. And I did see, where was it? You know, you can get like dolls and shit. Now they've got like the Barbie doll pack or whatever it is, but it's like two mums and the baby yeah, and yeah. two fathers in there and the baby. And I'm thinking... But that wouldn't register with a kid. They just think, oh, it's two, two women and a baby. Because this is what, and I know from experienced people, because my dad's gay, he's been with Greg now probably 40 plus years. And when I was younger, I got told about 12, 13, he was gay. But before then, 
I'd stay at his place sometimes on the weekends or during the week if I was on holidays. To me, Greg was my dad's friend that was having a sleepover. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you know when you went to school, your mates would come yeah, sleep yeah, over? Yeah. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. I never thought, my dad's gay, he's having sex with this man. It was just my... And it was in front of me. Every day I'd see him together and that they were never sexually in front of me and stuff, but I'd see him go to the same bed together at night and stuff because when I had friends sleep over from school, we slept in the same bedroom. Yeah. So I didn't think, and that's what I'm meaning. I was a pretty smart kid. My mum said I had brain and shit. I didn't put two and two together because kids yeah. aren't thinking sexually. I'm just thinking, that's my dad's mate. They live together. They're roommates. They sleep in the same bed. Okay. I, I used to go in there sometimes when... I couldn't sleep. My dad would be in bed. Greg would be there and like they'd tickle my back till I could fall asleep. Then I'd just go back to my bed. I wasn't thinking, oh God, they're in bed together. Holy hell. Hope I don't get touched while I'm here. Young kids at that age, you're not thinking anything sexual at all. Like yeah. I said, it's just my dad and his friend sleeping in the same bed. Like a sleepover. Like my mates come over and sleep over. It wasn't until I found out, like I said, 12, 13, what being gay meant and that. I went, okay then, okay. That's my dad's boyfriend now, so... Yeah. It didn't bother me, but as I said, trying to push it on young kids, like I said, I lived with it. It's right in front of my face, and my mind didn't once think, my dad's gay, he's sleeping with that guy, they're having sex together, because that's not what kids think. We're thinking other shit, toys and this, computers, yeah. and that's when the Commodore 64 come out, and fucking shit like that, and we'll go places. So yeah, we'll go on holidays, Queensland, me, my sister, dad, and Greg, and that. Never think, so stop trying to push, let kids be kids. They will learn when they're meant to learn. When the time comes and their mind's set for it, you don't think, oh, if, I, if we put it in cartoons now, we push it in their face now, there'll be more. I remember I was at the movies a few, not long ago, oh, it would have been six months ago at the, I don't know what we're going to see, it could have been some action one. And there's like, my wife and I here at Gold Class, and oh, and there's two more big seats and a guy yeah. and his son. It was that commercial where the guy's in the phone, he's like, Mum, Dad, he said yes, and that, like, he proposed at a boyfriend, yeah. and they're like, oh, isn't that wonderful, and then they kiss, and the little boy's heard him saying, Dad, why are they kissing? And he's like, oh, don't worry about it, son, so, you know, it's just like, you know, and he's only a real young kid, but to see two men kissing, he's like, Dad, why are they kissing? Because he probably sees his mum and dad kiss, and yeah, yeah. he's at that age, too, where you're saying, well, you know, I guess you could get into it and say, well, you know, two men can love each other also and this and that. But then it's hard too because some people in religion don't believe that. They don't want to teach that because it's against their religion. So I was like, let live and let live. And like I said, kids will learn in time. Yeah. When they go to school, they'll learn what gay is and this and that and everything else. And yeah, it's good to be accepting because I'm sure there are some kids at school who don't come out because they're scared of getting bullied and stuff. But yeah. I think it's a lot more accepting now because back in those old days it would be like, you know, the gay this, gay that, poof the fag, and if you had a son, you had a son, your dad might be, oh, if I ever had a gay son, this and yeah, that, fucking no. this, so the kid's too scared to come out, but I think people now are more accepting to it, and that is like, so, you just don't need to, like I said, shove it down people, literally, well, if you're gay, you could shove it down someone's throat, but no, no. you really don't need to, it's just, it'll happen, kids will discover who they are yeah. all in time, just let them do it in their own time. I just think the whole thing, like everything's now a group, a label, oh. um, and it should just There's be too about, many labels. Yeah, it's like, I just think if, if everyone's just nice to each other, mm -hmm. regardless of what you are yeah. or what... Regardless you, race, religion, you, sexuality, yeah, it's yeah. like judge people on character, not fucking yeah. anything else. If they're nice to you, be nice to them. If they're not hurting you and they're gay or whatever and they're living their life but it's not hurting you and they're not hurting anyone else, yeah. Why does it fucking matter to you? And just like, yeah, well, I just think, um, you know, I get to meet heaps of people mm -hmm. and, you know, there was a, a, a gay couple and, um, and, you know, well, funny you say that, well, my 13 year old, uh -huh. um, Did Jake, 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 we went there, went to their place and we were talking for ages and the reason why we were talking for ages really smart guy they're really nice guys um and and then you know i was telling um allison about him and and saying oh you know we're talking to these guys that are top blokes whatever and um and i can't remember what i said but you know and i said they were gay or, or you know mm -hmm. that something came up and, and jake goes 
oh, were they gay? Yeah. <laughs> and I go, yeah, mate, yeah, they're like living together. Like, he had no idea. And, yeah. um, and it was just that they were really nice guys. Mm -hmm. And so you're not going to go around and go, oh, I'm not going to talk to you because you're gay. Exactly, it's yeah. like, that, when you boil it down to that, it's just... Mm -hmm. If, if, if the person... It's like when the whole marriage thing was going on here. I'm like, who cares if they get married? No. If they're in love with one another and they want to get married, let them get married. They'd be no. like, oh, it's not right. It's like, it doesn't bother you. You're married, you've got a job, you've got kids, you've got a life. It's not going to affect you, no. so fucking let it go. It's like... And instead of like constantly with the, you know, all these things, the best the best thing I heard... Well, there's for... a few commercials on TV now where I've noticed like women kissing and kids. Like, it doesn't bother me, but it's like, it's more knowing why they're doing it. Yeah, it's like yeah, when yeah. it came to some of the awards lately where they're pushing to give more awards to either black people when yeah, they protest, yeah, yeah. we aren't getting enough awards. And it's more like, yeah. this is the first time this black... Yeah, it's almost like, here you go type thing. It's like, no, a, I, I find that more insulting yeah, than actually 100%. fucking... It's almost like you're just appeasing them. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it for it's this a, and that. Okay, we'll put that in the movie just to keep you happy. It's like, no, it's just like... No, the best the best thing I ever saw was um, they had these trucks and they had like I can't remember what it was maybe like a garbage compactor or something but, but it, these trucks had this complex electrical issue mm -hmm. and all these mechanics and all that they couldn't fix this issue out and one of the mechanics was a girl mm -hmm. and she figured it out mm -hmm. so they all thought she was a genius and you know they're going oh how did you do it and just you know men and women are different mm -hmm. in some cases in a lot, a lot of cases and the woman's thought process is really good different yeah so that meant these guys in the trucks go well we're going to get more women mm -hmm. so this this brave young woman went into a male dominated dominated industry mm -hmm. worked really hard and she has done more for for women in in that industry than any oh, yeah. ad or whatever because it was all based on um it was all based on um, merit. It wasn't yeah. based on... That's what it should be. There's actually a... I just saw it the other day. There's a professor in America where he's saying that, you know, getting into college and colleges and that should be all based on merit and yeah. not... Oh, my God, they're trying to get him cancelled. They're trying to get him kicked out yeah. of being a thing because he said that shouldn't be based on who you are, your ethnicity, your race and this and that. It should be based yeah, yeah. on merit. That's yeah. what it should be based on. Thanks. Yeah, so it's not like this everyone gets a trophy type thing. Thank you. Yeah, so it's just ridiculous that... Yeah, but it's like a... Yeah, I don't know. No, I just think... Um, no, I said, they're, all, they're, they're going to learn in time. I said, but why are they kids? Let them be kids. Stop trying to bombard them with these... You're, you're actually pushing shit on that some adults don't even fucking understand. Yeah. Just... you got you got adults that are confused by it all and don't really know what to make of it. And yes, look, if you have any movies, sure seen it there like I said if you see something enough if you saw it in real life it wouldn't affect you because I remember the first time well, I, I knew at the time because my dad was gay so when I saw over women holding hands or men holding hands and kissing I thought oh they're gay yeah. but the thing is even if you put it in movies for kids and that and put it on TV shows and put it in their face at three or four if two men were holding hands in the street kissing, kids still wouldn't be like, oh, they're gay. They'd just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. like each other. You wouldn't probably even think that because, like I said, I saw it with my dad and Greg every day living there, and I never once put two and two together thinking, oh, they're gay. They're living together. They're sleeping together, doing each other yeah. in the bum. I never... <laughs> kids just don't go down that... <laughs> you don't go down that sexual route. You know? It's like... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's, um... Now that I know he was gay, Greg, I could have maybe, you know... Could have got a hand whacking it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come give me a hand job. That's just like that's stupid. That hey, you're trying to put like these adult ideas <laughs> in the kids' heads. Just let them be kids. They'll discover it in all due time. Just let them grow up and. No, no. Yeah, but it's so. It's like when the that last Terminator came out. Was it like a year or two ago now? Two years. And that that's like yeah, the woman's lib thing they push now because they're trying to get these strong women in roles yeah. in movies, and it's like. Again, you're overdoing it, and then when that girl on the latest Terminator fought, he was after to kill her, and that then they realised, oh no, he's after your child. He wants to kill you, and the other one was like, yes, it just goes to show you're more than just a womb. You're just like, oh fuck, here we go. It's just like all these silly things that they're putting in movies now, going for this woman's strength, power, shit, and 
There was another one we watched the other day, or oh, a while ago now. Just and it was all it. women. There you go. It was all women action and that, but just some of the things they were saying and doing, and it's like, come on, it's like you're going overboard here. Well, I think it's ruining the, the movies <laughs> because um, during lockdown with the kids, you know, we'd, we'd have, that was one positive thing, we'd have um, movie, movie night. nights. And, you know, you pull out the crackers like um, like Lethal Weapon. Mm -hmm. and, and I look back at that and you go, like America was more um, together then. Oh, yeah. Like, and, and, it's worse now. And, you know, you had Mel Gibson alongside Danny Glover. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and I remember the posters that, you know, you had, mm -hmm. kids would have up in their, their oh, yeah. walls and stuff the like that. Lethal Weapon posters, and, right? And it's like, oh, they'll actually, like, it wasn't like a, a, a as much of an issue, and there was you know the the you know the relationship between the, the two. between them and that yeah yeah, yeah. it's just like okay they're two mates and and yeah. um, how have they gone from um, now the 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 narrative is that there's just um, white police driving around just shooting um, mm -hmm. black kids pretty, and yeah, black people yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it'll come back to the media. Mm. Divide and conquer, whether it be from medicine, mass, race, whatever. The media loves drama and they love dividing people. And everything's based on drama. You know, you've got to do this and scare people and this and that. And it's just, well, it's just crazy. Think, I just think the movies now, like, you're not going to get anything that's um But it's a movie called Karen. Oh, really? Mm. It's um Nick DiPaolo put on his show. I haven't watched it. It's there on the download. But it's about this... I'm not sure a black family. I'm not sure they move into her neighbourhood or she moves into. I think they move into hers. This black family. Her name's Karen, and she's like sort of ra racist. Pretty much every stereotype you can yeah. think of. And her brother's a cop, and he's a abusive cop, and he starts beating them up. So you got the police brutality. Pretty much the whole Black Lives Matter thing. What you yeah, see, yeah, it's yeah. a movie like yeah, that. Yeah. Put into a movie where the whites are bad and they're evil and they're trying to kick them out. Oh, and it's called Karen. Like, oh, you're a Karen. Yeah, so it's like, I'm, I'm going to watch it just for the, when you see the preview for it, you're just like, oh my God, this covers every stereotypical base you could think of. And there's been a few movies like that lately too, where the black people in the movies have really been pushing that, oh, you'll never get anywhere because of the white man thing. And Rachel, yeah. I just go, oh, here we go. It's like, we're going backwards. We're not going forwards. We're going, it's yeah. like, I've said it a hundred times today, America, when you look at America, same as Australia too and Americans and Australians get pissed off they go oh these people that come here from overseas blah 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 but yet these people that come from overseas come from countries that do have racism I don't think Australia is racist nor is America you'll have racist people sure oh, geez, but yeah. in a whole no but yet we're born into Australia Americans black whatever white born into America are born into a country where you can be anything you want to be. You have the opportunity to do whatever you want. Even be president. Even be president. The only thing stopping you is you. You can be everything you want to be in the world. And it's like, you just keep fucking shitting on the country. It's racist. We don't want to be here. And it's like, then if Australian and America are so racist, why do people of different backgrounds want to move there? Yeah. Because they see it as a land of opportunity. And they do move there and because they've come from places of wars, fucking yeah. real races. And when they get there, they fucking appreciate it and they work hard. And then these people start making money, get jobs, get businesses. And then the Americans are like, oh, look at these people coming over here taking this. It's like, because they appreciate what you fucking have that you're taking for granted. All you want is fucking handouts. I want this, I want that. Where these people have actually come from places that you couldn't imagine. And yet you're bitching about America because of this and that when... You could be anything you want to be. Yeah. I mean, anything. A, a 30 year old black guy, gay guy, white guy, Hispanic, Asian. You could all be whatever you want to be. You both have the opportunities. This white guy can't do anything this black guy can't do. Or maybe he can't play basketball because they're tall. But, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, the Asian guy could do it, the white guy. It's like, and really when they talk about white privilege, they did a survey in America and they had the best, highest people are the Asians. Because they have that work ethic, you know, they yeah, study, yeah, they yeah. do this, and they're the ones making the most money, they're the ones excelling way above the white people even, so if you don't hate anyone, hate the no, Asian no, people. But, but they've actually, like, they're not a minority, they, I think they're being lumped in with white people now, so... Um, oh, I don't know, but it's like, I just can't stand when people complain about this and that in America, because like I said, 
everyone I knew in America wasn't racist. They just got on with their lives. They, like I said, they judged people on character. And you can't just sit there going back to, well, this happened to us back then. Let's pull down these statues. Let's do this. Let's do that. It's like, yes, learn about the past. Don't live in it. Because you're never going to move forward as long as you keep going back to that. And it's like, I didn't do anything to you. They didn't do anything to you. It's like, that was so long ago. And you keep dredging it up like it just happened yesterday. Just hold on a sec. We're going to blow our... Um 